head-to-head -head league record. Overall, Liverpool 21 wins, Crystal Palace 9 wins, 7 draws. At Anfield, Liverpool 12 wins, Crystal Palace 4 wins, 2 draws. Liverpool beat Palace 2-0 at Selhurst Park in their second game of this season. James Milner converted a penalty on the stroke of halftime after Mamadou Sakho had fouled Mohamed Salah. Palace then had Aaron Wan-Bissaka sent off on 75 minutes for fouling Salah before Sadio Mane wrapped up the points deep into stop page time and in the process scored his club's 100th against the Londoners in all meetings, 52 games. It was Liverpool's fourth successive league win at Selhurst, fifth in all competitions, while in contrast the last four Anfield encounters have seen the Reds win once and lose three. In this fixture last season a single goal from Sadio Mane settled the game. The Reds are seeking a second successive league double over Palace. Home and away Liverpool have won the last three against Palace they have never won four. In the Premier League Liverpool have won 11 meetings with three draws and five defeats. At Anfield the Reds have won five, drawn once and been beaten three times. There has only been one goalless draw at Anfield in 18 league meetings that came in December 1994. The Reds' biggest ever top-flight league win came in September 1989, when the Reds won 9-0. They set a league record when eight different men found the net that evening. Liverpool have kept two clean sheets in the last 16 games in which they faced the Eagles in all competitions, home and away, and the one they kept at Anfield last year was the first since 1997. Those two shutouts have come in the last three meetings. Video loading video on available click to play tap to play the video will start an eight cancel play now Milan Barrows is the only player to score a hat trick in a league game between the sides, doing so in November 2004 in a 3-2 Reds win. Sadio Mane has scored in each of the last three league encounters with the Eagles. No Liverpool player had previously ever achieved that feat. Andy Robertson made his Reds debut in this fixture last season. After failing to score at Anfield in the league since April, Roberto Firmino hit a hat-trick against Arsenal in their last home game. He has four goals in his last three league outings. The Reds have won all ten Premier League games this season when Zerdan Shakiri has started. Liverpool are five goals short of recording 50 in all home league games against today's opponents. Since the defeat to Palace in April 2017 Liverpool have gone 31 league games unbeaten at Anfield, winning 22 and drawing 9. They have conceded 13 goals and kept 21 clean sheets in that sequence. The current run is their joint third longest in history. Last weekend's 1-0 victory at Brighton saw Liverpool's 50th league clean sheet under Jurgen Klopp. 42% of those have come since Virgil van Dijk made his league debut in January 2018. The Reds are two goals short of recording 1,000 at Anfield in the Premier League era. Liverpool's current points tally of 57 is their best after 22 games of a league season since their first campaign as a football league club in 1893-94, when they accrued 58 at the same stage, adjusted to three points for a win. A victory today will see the Reds set a new club record after 23 matches for points won, 60, beating the 59 in 1893-94 and 1987-88. Palace's last win over Liverpool 
came at Anfield in April 2017, when Christian Benteke scored twice after Felipe Coutinho had given the hosts the lead. They are the last visiting team to come and win in front of the cop in the Premier League. In November 2015 Crystal Palace became the first team to beat Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool with Yannick Balassi and Scott Dan scoring in the 2-1 Anfield victory. They have won on three of their nine Premier League visits to Anfield those victories came in successive campaigns and was only ended by Liverpool's victory last season. Martin Kelly played 62 times for the Reds during his time at Anfield, scoring his only goal in a League Cup win at Chelsea in November 2011. He has started three league games since he faced Liverpool back in March. Video loading video on available click to play tap, to play the video will start an eight cancel play now Kelly, Wayne Hennessy and Wilfried Zaha are all looking to win at Anfield with Palace for the fourth time. Christian Benteke played 42 times for Liverpool in his one season at Anfield, scoring 10 times. He netted nine goals in 29 league appearances. In his 11 career games against the Reds he has scored seven times including both in Palace's 2-1 Anfield win in April 2017. Mamadou Sakho played 80 times for the Reds in all competitions from 2013-16, scoring three times. Roy Hodgson has managed in 12 games against Liverpool, winning three, drawing four and losing five. His last win came when he steered West Brom to a 1-0 victory at Anfield in April 2012. As Liverpool manager from July 2010 – January 2011 he won 13 of 31 games in charge in all competitions, losing 10. Roy Hodgson is the elder statesman amongst current Premier League managers, aged 71. He is one year older than Cardiff's Neil Warnock. He is the fourth different manager to come to Anfield with Palace in the last four seasons. This is their 10th Premier League visit to Liverpool and Alan Pardew in 2014-15, and again the following season is the only man to lead the Eagles here twice in the era. Palace have five league ever presents this season Mamadou Sacco, Patrick Van Onholt, Andros Townsend, Luka Milivojevic and James MacArthur. Luka Milivojevic has scored in four of his last eight league games. He has scored five penalties this season in the Premier League more than any other player. Milivojevic was the top flight's leading penalty scorer last season with seven. Julian Speroni could appear in goal for Palace for the first time since his side's 3-2 home defeat to Arsenal in December 2017. The Eagles have kept clean sheets in four of the last seven league and cup fixtures. Follow all the build-up to Liverpool's clash with Crystal Palace here Palace have won four of their 11 top flight away matches this season. They won 2-0 at Fulham on the opening day and have taken maximum points at Huddersfield, 1-0, Manchester City, 3-2, and Wolves, 2-0. They have won their last two away league games, and should they emerge victorious today it will be the first time since August 2015 they have won a third in succession on the road in the top flight. One of that trio of wins came at Anfield, May 2015.